Do you want to learn how to polar align this star tracker in three minutes with a simple phone app? Hang around and I'll show you how. All right, so you've just purchased your first star tracker and if you're like me, when I first purchased my star tracker, I had no clue where to where to start. I stood staring at the sky thinking, where is this Sigma octans that we're supposed to see? Um, and that not until I come up with a bit of a process that's helped me find it and helped me power align it all through my phone. So it's made my life a lot easier and I'm getting good results from it. I've um, been, been able to hold the track, the, um, the shutter open for 120 seconds plus without getting star trails. So the whole concept is to coarsely align the star tracker. Um, that's all that's really required if you're using wide focal length lenses. Um, obviously, as you get further up with higher focal length lenses, lenses you're going to need to power align it more precisely. But um, I've had good results up to 50 mil. Um, with this process. Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, they're obviously a little bit more less than what we are. They've got a bright Polaris star that they can just point it to and it's easy for them. Here in Australia, um, we have only got the Sig Sigma Octans, which is our Polaris Australis sort of star um, to polar align to, and it's not visible by the naked eye most of the time. You have to have a really dark sky to be able to see it. That's why we bring this app into play. Um, and um, this, this process should help you out. Um, so you hang around, I'll take you through the steps. And um, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to my channel, it helps me grow and helps me get more videos out in front of people and helps people with this sort of equipment. So yeah, we'll take you through it. Hopefully you like it. Alrighty, so step one is to make sure that your star tracker is pointing towards true south. You can um, use a compass or anything to make sure that you sort of got it in that vicinity. Um, you can also use the compass on your phone as well. Um, just make sure your phone compass is switched to true south or true north, whatever the setting is on there. Um, you'll find that within the setting of your phone. So most phones will have that. Um, so the reason why we want to get it in that vicinity is to make sure that we've got enough tolerance in these little um, screws here because that gives that allows us to move the star tracker left or right. Um, and you just want to make sure you've got enough tolerance to move it because um, if you've got too far off, you're not going to have enough tolerance in here to move the star tracker where you need it. So once you've got that perfect and um, set up, the next step is obviously to level your base and that's really important because if you don't level your base your star tracker is going to move off course and then you're going to get star trailing so i've got a um, level base system here from from newer i'll leave the link in the comments so you can find it easily um, and all i do is just wind up the dials until um, the bubble is level in on the bubble level here i used to use my tripod but I'd go too far one way, too far the other way, too far back, too far forwards, and it was just very finicky. And I used to get a bit, bit annoyed because all I wanted to do was shoot stars. So um, if I could give you any advice, I suggest you go out and purchase a level base. It just makes your life a lot easier. Once everything is then level and you're happy with that, the next step is to use this. And this I've purchased from Skylabs in New Zealand. You can go on their website, you can see them on there. Um, I think you can get a small, medium and large plate. I've got a medium plate for my iPhone 14 Pro. Um, and what it does do is it fits on top of the Star Tracker with this Dove plate. So it's almost mimicking the plates that, have, uh, that come with the other styles of adapters. And you simply slip it over the top of the Star Tracker. I always leave it enough a little bit. And make sure it's level um, on there. So if it's too far over, you obviously go and do your clutch, move it back a bit so it sits there level. You then put your phone in the plate and open up the app that I'm about to show you. And the what it will do is it will give you a target um, 
to move um, into crosshairs. Um, if you get the crosshairs right over the top of the target, you know you're pop properly polarized. And to do that, you use your left and your right dials here, and also your degree wheel at the front, so you can wind that up and down to find um, your do your degrees that you're required to set it to. So the app does it all for you. Um, it's actually quite accurate. I've even pulled um, this off and checked to see if I can see the octans in the scope, and yes, I have. Um, the only thing I will say you've got to watch out for is some magnetic interference. So if you're around power lines or anything like that, you're going to get some interference. Or if you're wearing an eye watch and you're putting your um, your hand up against it, it's going to throw you, throw the the track or uh, the the target off a little bit. So I, I suggest taking your watch off. And if you are around some power lines, you can calibrate your phone by swinging it in figure eights prior to you doing it. Um, you look a bit weird if people are watching you swing your phone around, but um, it's all worth it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the next step there. Alrighty, so the next step is to remove this plate. So don't forget we are fully polar aligned at this point, so we do not want to bump it. Um, I've accidentally kicked tripods before and have to realign, realign the tracker again, so it's a bit disheartening when that happens. So remove the bracket, and then what I have got already pre-assembled is my declaration bracket with the counterweight. And I like doing this now rather than assembling it all on the cam on the um, tracker and bumping it. So obviously make sure everything's done up tight. It's a fear of mine that my camera's going to fall off, so everything's probably over tight, um, which is probably a good thing. So I use a, a move shoot move Z bracket, which allows me to get a nice level base for my panoramas. But I highly recommend you use this counterweight system because it takes extra pressure off of this gear head here. And there is quite a lot of weight on here when you when you lift it up. So you can imagine what it's doing to the little gears inside there. I'm not sure whether they're plastic or metal, but either way, it's not good for it. So we want to make sure we use the counterweight. So next step is to slip it straight over here into the flange. Make sure it's sitting against it nice and flat and tighten it up. All right, so the next step for me from here would be to make sure that I've got a nice level base for my panorama and do that up nice and tight. So once that's in position, then what I usually do, what I do is then make sure the counterweight is set properly. So it's a leap of faith to let go of it, make sure it doesn't fall off. So hopefully it doesn't fall off for you guys or me. So that's set perfectly. If it wasn't set properly, it would fall down like that. So there'd be nothing holding it back. So we'll make sure it's nice and balanced. There's good. Move it back into the shooting position so it's all level. Look at your level bubble again, make sure that's level. And then lock off the clutch and that will re-engage the gears um, on the star tracker. So it will track. The next step is obviously make sure that um, you've got it in star tracking mode um, so you can track the stars. If you don't turn it on, you're going to get star trails. Or um, the other option, well, the other thing to keep in mind is also this S and N switch. It's southern and northern hemisphere. If you don't have it in the right position and you're in the wrong hemisphere, you're going to get star trailing. If you want star trailing, all cool, but um, make sure you've got it switch to the hemisphere that you're in. So I'm in the southern hemisphere, so it's in the southern. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm getting good results with this process. All I would say is make sure everything is 100% level all the time. The other thing to sort of keep in mind is as the tr star tracker moves, your level plate is going to come off of level again. So you want to keep leveling it off. So every, every second shot, I'll re-level this plate by undoing the clutch, leveling it back up again and going again. Um, that's if you're doing um, track shots with panoramas. Um, yeah, so that's it, that's the process. I'll leave you some pictures that I've got um, that I've taken with this so you can see the results that I've got. Um, please, you like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm 
wanting to help more people out. And hopefully this video has helped you out too. It's good to get in front of more people um, and grow my channel as well. Um, if you have got any other videos that you would like to see, um, such as settings, what settings I use to get the results I get, please put it in the comments. Um, I'm happy to do a video um, based on what everyone wants to see. So yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, we'll catch you next time.